everyone. I'm Catherine. I'm a junior. And I'm Eliza. I'm a senior. What's up? We're from Cary High School in Cary, North Carolina. Welcome to Unified Talks. When you look in the mirror, what do you see? I see my reflection. I see myself. That's right. Did you know we can take this idea of reflection and connect it to leadership and teamwork? Just like how you look in the mirror and see yourself, you can reflect on your team and how you grow together, not just as individuals, but as a whole group. Today, we're going to talk about how teams and groups reflect or show the behaviors and attitudes of their leaders. There's this saying, monkey see, monkey do. This means to learn something by copying. Many times when we're on a team or in a group, we look up to the leader to show us how to act. This leader could be an older teammate, a captain, or maybe you if you see an opportunity to step up. I think that all of our members of Club Unified do um, participate and they help us come up with ideas. Mm -hmm. We've had some little sessions where we brainstorm. So I think that everyone does have a leadership role in a way, even if it's not the person at the front telling us. And there's a group of freshman gym class that's in there as well. So nobody's really telling them that they have to interact or any way, in any way. Um, but it's also super cool to see the freshmen interacting. A leader can teach us how to complete a tax or learn a new skill. They are the people we turn to when something positive happens, but also they show us how to respond to a difficult learning experience. So how can we, as leaders, make sure our teams have positive, supportive attitudes and a collaborative and hard work ethic? It starts with us. We need to model these behaviors and attitudes so they reflect through our team. First, identify the, your core values. If you value respect and support, Make sure you show that respect when you interact and talk with others. Not just those on your team, but others' teams as well. If you value meaningful inclusion, find ways to provide equal opportunity for everyone to be involved. Next, put your core values into action. Make sure your team sees you lead with these values with the words you say and the actions you take. Let's look at one strong example. Coach Gonzalez from Clovis Unified. His values include respect, belief in his team, and empowerment. These values are seen in full effect as he coached this team during the 2018 USA Summer Games. He gave them encouraging and motivating words. Even though his team lost during the championship round and his team reflected those values. Wait, let me guess. His athletes support one another? They didn't blame each other for the loss or show negative attitude. That's right. Coach Gonzalez's team reflected his values when it mattered most. The athletes saw how they treated their teammates. They mirrored his actions at the end of the game and comforted each other through the loss. In that moment, many members of the team displayed leadership skills by being there for one another. Having a leadership role means you have a lot of responsibility you really need to be mindful of your action and your attitude. Exactly. That brings us to our final step. Take time to reflect on your own performance as a leader. You never know how your behavior and actions could be interpreted by other teammates. Let's give a couple of examples to make it a little easier to understand. Let's pretend the wrong time was printed on your flyers or invented at school and no one showed up. You may have been upset or blamed someone for the mistake. Because other club members saw this behavior, they may be more likely to replicate it when something doesn't go their way. They are modeling the behavior they saw in their leader. Next example, imagine you choose not to support your school's unified basketball tournament as a fan in the stands, but you go to the varsity basketball game. This choice might show your friends you don't value inclusion as much as you claim to. This might have a ripple effect and the unified team may see less fans at their games. If you notice something like this, don't beat yourself up. You can change your behaviors. It's all about checking in to make sure your actions are reflecting your values. Changing doesn't show weakness, it shows growth. And it shows your team it's good to reflect change and grow too. Let's go back to that first example, the one with the flyer that has the wrong time for an event. Instead of blaming someone, you can say, it's okay, everyone, we'll get it right next time. And there you have it. Remember, as a leader, your actions may influence and reflect onto your team. So, think before you act, remain positive during hard times, and talk it through with your teammates. See you later, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.